Ladies and gentlemen, you have requested a performance review for Codename Jean Grey Dark Phoenix. So here we go. We got a CTP of Rage. We've got a CTP of Judgment. We're going to go Null, Mephisto, Ultron, Gore, Jean, and GBR all in one video. Without further ado, boom. All right, let's see how fast she shreds this stage. You can also pop the tier four right away, which is pretty nutty. I got stunned. Okay, we hit. We got hit by the cage. No worries. We will factor that into our final review, but there we go. <laughs> Already into the next phase. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. We're going to go fast. This is stage 54. We're using Cyclops lead and Mystique support. And uh, five strikers. The only striker that is missing here that you would normally typically see is... Um, uh, I thought about saving the tier 4, but why? Uh, the, no the only striker that you'd normally see here that you don't is uh, Nightcrawler. And the reason why I'm not using Nightcrawler is because he's annoying. <laughs> Nightcrawler makes a swooshing sound with his... Uh, with his striker ability, and it's just really annoying. And I don't want to hear it. Also, get ready, because we're about to... Go and skip all the phases. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Absolutely broken. Absolutely broken. Okay, we use the we use the uh immort the uh, in invincibility on the fifth skill and there you go. 3 minutes and 44 seconds. Now with the CTP of judgment, let's see how she does here in the first half of the fight with Null. I do expect to see more. Okay, we did get stunned by the cage. We should rip all the way through to the end. Awesome. Okay, so we still got stunned by a cage, but we still managed the first phase in a very respectable 20 seconds. Cool, 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 cool. Not bad, not bad. Could not press the tier 4, interestingly enough, because I didn't have targeting on him but there we can actually save the tier three now i think in some circumstances you can pop the tier three right here and she won't die to the nullification but i'm not going to test it out in this in this uh part right here just because i don't want to be wrong but yeah we're going to go straight through to the end straight through yep no question at all wow yeah so it's not a huge difference between rage and um judgment here because it's still very fast but wow she's very fast wow 357 this is only stage 44 of mephisto there isn't a higher stage that i've unlocked that gene can be used for so we're gonna give her no supports because otherwise this is gonna go way too quickly and there just won't be anything to test vis-a-vis -vis, you know rage versus judgment because when the timers are so close together um, it kind of just blurs the lines. However, done. 17 seconds. We're already in the next phase. Cool. Neat. Absolutely nutty damage from her. I also love the fact that you can pop her tier for every single rotation. I love that. Absolutely love it. It makes, it, it makes her so easy to play. Oh, we got cut off by the freaking cutscene. Are you serious? All right. That's definitely going to affect her time a little bit. And that's just kind of a tragic, uh, tragic result here. Ah. Uh, oh, no. Okay. Well, it's just how it is. We can lop off about 20 seconds from this. She takes no damage from Mephisto. That is super funny. We can lop off about 20, 25 seconds. But the good thing is we can start here with the tier 3 right away. We can pop the tier four and then go right into the tier three and just melt away casually like 20 plus bars. Keep going more damage. Yes, sir. We're going all the way home. All right. I'm going to finish him here. Does not matter what he does. And there we go. Three minutes, 27 seconds. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is Mephisto with no supports. And I actually realized after I did the first recording with um, 
with the rage that um, this was actually a that the that the null run was actually faster than this. So funny enough, um, while we're already in the next phase, wow. Funny enough, we um, we could have given her supports here. Wow, and she does so much damage that we may just queue up the uh, the cutscene here. Yeah, we're gonna queue up the cutscene and we're gonna save the 20 seconds. Check this out. Yeah, look at this damage. We're not even on the proc, but it doesn't matter. Wow. Holy cow. Wow. Yeah, I mean, you probably could do something like that with Rage. Maybe not as um, efficiently for time's sake. Uh, you may have to sort of slow down and do an extra rotation to get it through to the next rotation, but... She is just absolutely blitzing him right now. She's pumping out so much damage. Yeah, crazy, crazy stuff. And he's gone. A minute and two seconds. 358 is disgusting. All right, for the Ultron clear, we actually have to switch to the Marvel Girl uniform. I apologize for this. Uh, I know it's not uh, what we were planning on doing, but... Yeah, it's, uh, it's the only way to test on this high of a stage. Otherwise, we have to go to a pretty low stage. So I thought it would be more interesting to test her here rather than not testing her. We're just going to pop the, the tier 3 right away. Uh, I certainly expected the damage to be better, but Ultron did iframe me. So we'll see if the next rotation is better. Certainly a bit of RNG there, but uh, nothing I can't nothing I can really do to avoid that. She's a lot slower to charge up her tier 3 with this uniform. So, like, I certainly wouldn't... Like, I don't know. I've seen people asking... I, I certainly wouldn't play with this uniform if I didn't have to. Um, because, yeah, the new uniform is just so much better. But I guess it gives you some flexibility. You don't have to build up uh, Storm and stuff. But, yeah, this, is, this feels so much worse than her... Um, her other uniform and literally you don't do any you do very little damage with all of your skills it's almost all stacked on the um on the tier three and you're really just trying to pop the tier three and have ultron stand in it for as long as possible with the tier four active so that you can actually do damage but yeah <sighs> this is this is the part that uh this is the part that's not fast i want to go fast Bruh, like we just we just want to go fast. We're just we're just young guns, you know. None of this none of this five minute clear BS. I want to just blast this dude into outer space, you know. Like this. This is what I'm talking about. This is the kind of damage I want to see all the time. One, two, three. All right, even three bars is not that much, but it's it's better than nothing. She does a little bit of damage when you pop the tier four. It's not horrible. She just takes too long to charge up her tier 3. And that's where all her damage is. So yeah, that would be the way to play her if you're using these old uniforms is just just cancel like al almost you're almost literally canceling everything into the in, just to, to charge up the tier 3 as fast as possible. But yeah, okay. All right, not bad, not bad, not bad. 2 minutes is something. This will definitely give us a better idea of Judgment's performance considering this is a longer fight. So you have more time to see how the damage goes. We could do this a little bit faster. This particular run could go a bit faster if I had hit my first tier 3. I think he moved out of the way of my very first tier 3. But uh, again, sometimes it's just unavoidable levels of RNG. You get a nice, you get a nice almost two bars. Okay, not bad. All right, we're going to just rock with her here. Uh, so I can also... Can't, like I can also build up the tier three because I certainly don't want. Yeah, see that's what I that's what I wanted actually. Yes, this is exactly what I wanted. Yes. Oh, and the rage proc didn't activate. That's tragedy. Oh yeah. See, we should have killed him here. Oh, we did kill him. Nice. Two minutes, one second. The Aki way. Let's go. This one's gonna be the big pain versus Ultron. The last run with a rage took three minutes so we'll see how she does now with a judgment oh okay oh okay that damage seems better interesting where did he go oh okay yeah i think her regular 
uh, rotation is, is a bit more damage now with this versus a rage. Interesting. Interesting. Ooh, okay, girl, pop off. Pop off indeed. Oh, I thought he was gonna, what the heck? I'm just gonna, I wanted to spam all my skills here. I know he's gonna cutscene me, but I'm just trying to charge up my tier three. I think the judgment is faster than the rage, wow. This one I thought would be kind of up in the air, but yeah, no, we're, we're looking at like a two minute and change clear time here. Yeah, wow. Judgment might be the way to go then. Oh, uh, he's gonna run away. I think he was dashing. Oh, no, he's still here. Nice. Yeah, she definitely does way more damage with her regular rotation. Definitely. Doesn't matter, we can tank this and push him all the way to eight bars. I thought the tier three was gonna push him to eight bars by itself. But as long as we get there, Ooh, if we could... Ooh, ah, oh, yeah, I was trying to squeeze in the tier three. If I think we could have done that even faster if we were able to get the tier three off. Okay, we charged it all up, so we'll be able to pop. I think we'll be able to pop the tier three after this um, little mini game here. But yeah, I think you could have popped the tier three off and you could have done this even faster. Ah, yeah, the judgment is, is noticeably faster here versus Ultron noticeably faster here we're just gonna tap everything Ooh, that's a huge burst yeah i feel like the burst damage is faster too i don't know man she's nice nice with a rage i mean nice with a rage but nice with a judgment as well i think wolverine's gonna help me yep don't have the don't have the tier three up but she does so much damage with her regular rotation that we're gonna kill him 230. Wow. So that's 30 seconds faster. All right, here we go. Gore. Is he going to feel the wrath of the Juicinator? Okay, good start there. Pop a bunch of tier threes. Or a bunch of second skills, I should say. And then just rip, rip the tier three. Awesome. Really nice damage there. Good stuff. All right, Morgan Le Fay getting bonked. Can you blame him? I think my phone heats up a lot when Gene's on the screen, though. I gotta be honest. Okay, good damage there. Oh. Didn't really have the damage I was looking for there. Okay, yeah. I've done this a couple times now, and it's difficult to build up the tier three to skip that phase. So we'll we'll just sort of we'll calculate this the same way. All right, you kind of need a perfect run as far as the positioning of Gore goes, because if he moves at all, um, then he kind of ruins everything. He he just he just moves into corners, and you can't um, you can't combo properly uh, because he's he's in the corner where he reduces your pierce, and then it's like, oh, okay, you got your combo off, but he reduced your pierce, so. You didn't do as much damage. That's super easy to to get through. And then we can just power that down. Awesome. Yeah. Not quite enough. I, again, I think she definitely has enough damage to rip through his uh, first phase without having to do the Shadow Clone part. Yeah, bro. I just ate through 3% battery. My phone is like overheating. Gene does something to my phone. It just overheats the hell out of it. I don't know. If you're experiencing this problem as well, just know that you're not alone. My phone is, like, burning right now. It's super weird. We should one-shot him right here. That's how good the tier 3 is when he just stands still. Yep. All right. Two minutes or three minutes left. Could have been a bit faster. Could have been about, I think it could have been about 30 seconds faster. All right. Stage 34 null. And this was the stage where I had said that uh, a better run, a faster run in the first phase could have definitely shaved off some time and i don't think i'm gonna even need the tier three here for this first phase wow 
Wow. We got to this phase in about the same amount of time, but that's without the tier 3. <laughs> Which means that she's doing more damage for sure. And that also means that um, we can start this next rotation. Oh my god. With the tier 3 right away. Holy cow. And just obliterate him. Wow. Wow. That is nuts. Holy cow. She does like 20 bars. She could probably do like 20 bars of damage with that full rotation. Especially if I didn't get interrupted by my battery dying. Bro, Gene kills my battery. But yeah, it, it, this judgment is looking pretty righteous right now. Yeah, wow. Wow, we're outside of the AoE here, which is probably not what I wanted to do. But we need to kill these dumb ads anyways. And then we pop the tier 3 and just obliterate him. He moved out of the... He's out of the range of it, it seems like. Yep, yeah. This is the sort of annoying thing about, about Gore that he can do to sort of goof you around. Is... I'm just spamming at this point because we're just trying to finish him off. Wow, 3-3-3. Three, three, three. And we definitely could have done it faster. Definitely would have done it at like 340 or 345 if he hadn't have moved out of the way of that tier. Last of the world boss legends, Gene versus Gene, stage 24. This should be the most interesting one to test because I actually have not tested her at all on this. So we'll see how she does as far as the, the damage goes, as far as the survivability goes, all that stuff here. Let's see how the tier three rocks. Not bad at all, not bad at all. Very cool, we have those four orbs we have to dodge. Okay, good stuff. Just gonna cycle over there. Rage did not proc, so that's super late. Okay, that's kind of lame. We might die here. Ooh, we tanked that easy. Wow, I thought we were gonna die to those four orbs, but we tanked that easily. So she's flying through the stage right now. Whew. She made, she's making Black Bolt seem kind of slow. Not an easy feat. Okay. Have to press the two before the six to get the tier three and the tier four to rock at the same time. I took a lot of damage there. Okay. We're into the next phase. Nice. Only did about six bars of damage. I'm a bit surprised the damage wasn't higher, but we have to do these mechanics now. Okay. Warning, warning, warning. Professor X and his bald man strategy. Oh, okay, enough of the bald. Oh, she's gonna die. Oh, she tanks it. it. Feels like it's taking longer than normal for the bar to um, for the bar to whittle down. Again with the delayed rage proc. I don't know what the deal is with that, but we're also using um, we're using a uh, Proxima lead because Jean doesn't have any ignore dodge. So just in case I need ignore dodge, she has it there. I can't see what's going on, so I couldn't tell you if I'm able to dodge Jean's attacks, which is honestly normally a problem, but it's not in this case because Jean has such high fire resist. She just doesn't. Wow, well, I'm taking damage in the single digits. But yeah, you absolutely have to. Uh, we're gonna trigger the invincibility proc. You absolutely have to be spamming two. To build up that tier three it does build up really fast or the tier four i guess on the second rotation you can actually squeeze some damage in here it's not much but you can squeeze a little bit if you're really trying to to min max everything i'm curious how much this would do to me how much damage this would do oh actually a lot of hundred thousand wow okay, let's pop everything off the rage proc nice okay flying through with the damage i have no idea where gene is We're going to get cut off by the phase change back to the sort of this thing. This little end, this little thing here. I don't know what this is called. A little mini game. Jean going cray cray. Mini game. Jean and her and her loosey goosey marbles. Let's get back to the blue. Good stuff. And that should finish the fight. So a minute 51 left. Good stuff here. Last of the world boss legends, Gene versus Gene. Let's see what is up with this and how this damage is looking. 
All right, nicely done. Pop the tier three and let's rip these bars. Yes, sir. Let's rip these bars. Holy. She can literally tank anything Gene throws at Gene. And I'm just flying through this and I'm not even gonna use the tier three. Wow. Look at this. I can completely tank that. It only does 5,000 damage. Holy cow. Yeah, she's so tanky. But also, she's so strong, too. Pop the tier three. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. Really nice damage here. Gonna have to... Okay. Yeah, we, had the, we were at the cutscene anyway, so I was just trying to spam a little bit um, to build up my tier three again. That's where the majority of the damage comes from. But her her proc rotation is not uh, like her her. I keep calling it a proc rotation, but her her regular rotation when you don't have the tier three up is nice as well. Yeah, the judgment really adds a lot of punch to her her regular rotation when you don't have the tier three up. Very nice damage there. Wow. Very nice. Very nice. We're almost at the, um, we're at the shield. I didn't want to pop the tier three because of the shield. Wow. She's flying, dude. She is flying. Now, again, we have this little window of damage. Okay. We didn't get that much done. That's okay. Oh, it tickles. It tickles after the fact. There's a little post tickling. Pop the tier three, nice. One, two, three, four. Lots of bars of damage. You can just completely ignore what she's doing for the most part. Because we can just heal through all of it. We're actually auto attacking there. And finish her off with one more tier three. Wow, 238. That's crazy. Here we go. Jean Grey with a Rage CTP testing full solo versus uh, Dormammu. Let's see how she does, what the DPS is looking like. And shout out to Drum Vibes and HSS for being the carry ease. You don't have to worry about that. Let's pop off the tier three. Yes, sir. That's what I'm trying to see here. Turn it into a goat. Yes, sir. Look at that. Like 30 bars, 20, 30 bars on the tier three. That's what I'm looking at. That's what you want to see. What's this DPS going to look like? Damage per second. We don't have an insight CTP, so this run could be a little bit faster if one of these two had an insight. Uh, we'll probably get an insight on Polaris in the future, but for now, I'm not going to pop the tier three because I want to start the next rotation with the tier three right away. Here we go. Took me about 55 seconds, which is nice. Okay. We don't get transported. Good. And now we get to rip four, five, six. Let's go. Six plus bars. Let's go. That's smooth, man. That is smooth. And we didn't proc our next rotation, which is really good. Oh, he's going to get stuck in the mindless zone if he doesn't attack the mindless one. Oh, no. Hopefully, we can finish before that. Trying not to get sent to the mindless zone when you're testing a character is really the goal. Because it otherwise really affects your time. So, in the in the unlikely event that I get sent to the mindless zone, we will test that out. But uh, this is looking pretty good right now with a regular rage CTP. This is looking quite nice. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13. Can I get a 12? Can I get 11? Can I get a 10, 9, 8? Oh, my battery. I charged it in between sessions, but here we are. We're back down below the, the amount that uh, I wanted to be at for this. And let's rip it for the last kill here. Oh, we're just a little off. And there we go, 740. Here we go, Jean Grey now with a Judgment equipped. 
and we will shortly show off that judgment right there let's see Ooh, ooh. okay just a casual 20 bars off the rip with the regular proc rotation like with the with the regular rotation of the tier 3 rotation sorry Whoa, whoa, she can almost one shot him with the judgment on the first phase. Wow, wow, and uh, yeah, if I had just a little bit of damage, I definitely could have done that. Wow, wow, we okay, we're definitely gonna see less damage here in phase two because it's a judgment, but um. But we'll definitely see more damage in phase one. Or sorry, we definitely would have seen more damage in phase one. Did I just charge up the tier three, the tier four twice? Like we saw more damage in phase one, but now we're going to see less damage in phase two is what I'm trying to say. That's kind of how the judgment is looking here. But uh, yeah, still not bad. Most of her damage is going to be on the tier three, of course. What is going on, dude? There we go. Rip that through. It's a little late. I, uh, I was having trouble pressing the buttons. There we go. Yeah, her regular rotation now does less damage. For sure. But uh, the tier 3 still does nice damage. As long as you pair that with the tier 4. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Really nice stuff. I'm just going to squeeze in the 4 and the 5 here early. So we make sure we push him... Uh, to that next phase we don't want to risk any mindless zone shenanigans this is definitely going to be slower than the rage as you can see here because we only have about 20 seconds left uh, we're only going to have about 20 seconds left after this is done but wow you can actually pop the tier four and then charge it right back up with the rotation as you're doing the tier three wow crazy Good stuff there. We're about to hit the timer. Okay, we're going to wait for the third skill. Yeah, we just pressed the tier 4 twice. I don't know why we did that. Need to stop doing that. But you charge it up every single rotation, which is nuts. Right? Oh, we're in the... Uh, we're, in the we're in the middle of the purple lines, but it does not matter because Gene's healing is just bonkers. But yeah, we are seeing... A little bit of a slowdown here. This should be the end here. Um, 7.10 or 7.11. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The final tally for the Rage CTP and the Judgment CTP are as follows. In Null, Mephisto, Ultron, Gore, and Gene, World Boss Legend, the Judgment CTP was the unanimous heavyweight champion of the world, ranging from anywhere from 13 seconds faster to 47 seconds faster, almost a full minute on the hardest world boss legend, which speaks volumes to how much extra elemental damage helps Jean Grey. The only game mode for PvE content where the Rage outperformed the Judgment, aside from ABX and ABL, where to be honest, she can already cap with a Greed CTP and ABX, so it's really only ABL, um, was GBR, where the Judgment was about 30 seconds, to be precise, 29 seconds slower, and that represents a drop in DPS from 10.714 million damage per second to 8.875 million damage per second. However, it's really hard to ignore how much faster she is in PvE content with that Judgment CTP. You may not notice a difference at all at very low stages, but especially for people who want to climb or who want to have just a very easy time crushing Ultron, Gore, and Jean because they're much, much harder bosses than Null and Mephisto, that Judgment CTP does absolute wonders. So personally, I'm going to give the, 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 you know, the belt, whatever you want to call it, the award, the, I'm going to give the nod, the edge to the Judgment but uh, hit me up in the comments down below. You decide which one you thought performed better. Thank you so much for watching. Smash the like button. Consider supporting the channel even more down below in the description. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.